guys, I'm back. Mixed in some of the white, just kind of up and spread it out. Probably would have been better off if I made a little bit more, but you live and you learn. No, maybe not. We can, we can get a good coverage. No idea what colors I want to use, but I know I'm going to use them all. So we'll see how this turns out. You're better off using a spoon. I was right. All right, so I'm going to use some black bright red on this one a little bit more black just to kind of mix it up a little and a few drops of some yellow let's see how that comes out all right the next one. This time we'll start off with red. A little bit more. We'll throw in some of this royal blue. Oh, that looks cool in the cup. Black. Just a little bit of black. We'll call that one good. The next one, we'll do some violet. Pour this one in. I got it, so I'm gonna use it. I got some uh, neon green. Let's see how well that comes out. A little bit more of that. I'll go with black. Seeing that it's a white background, I think black. We'll go good with all of these. And then, do one more. We don't need to do five. We'll do four. Start with a blue base. That'll just turn it green. Now I'll turn it purple. Oh. Now I'm confused. I don't know what to do. What? Just start mixing colors? See what happens? Okay. I like that idea. Alright. I'm gonna put a little bit more paint on this one. That one just looks kind of sad. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I got my four little itty bitty mini dirty cups and I'm just going to, I don't know, maybe go on a straight line or stagger them. What do you guys think? Do you leave me a comment? I'm going to go with stagger, but if you said make a straight line, then I'm sorry. So we'll put one there, put one there, put one there, and we'll put that one right there. And give them a second to kind of flow down. That's kind of cool. So since this one's kind of close to the edge, I'm just going to kind of kind of pull it in this way. 
see what kind of effect that this. Just add the little droplets here and there. This one, I'm going to go this way. Maybe that didn't do what I want it to do. Whatever. We'll add a little splashes of different colors here and there. This one, I'm going to come straight down. Ooh, that one's cool. It's got the greens, the purples, and the blacks. This is the one I'm kind of excited about. This one's got a lot of yellow, some purple, some blue. And yeah, let's see. Just like to fill in some of these empty spaces with color. So we'll give that maybe a minute or so to kind of kind of settle in. I know some of that white paint was a little bit thicker in some spots than others. Oh wow. But yeah. Give that a couple seconds to to kind of settle in. Cleaning up some of these edges of this white paint that I'm going to start tipping anyway, so I don't know why I'm doing this, but Whatever. You guys have any suggestions? Obviously, I am still new at this, so pretty much anything you suggest will be new to me. But I am ready and willing to try them. Because, again, there's just too many real artists out there putting out some really, really, really good art. And... But yeah, I, I'd like to one day, hopefully, be able to create something like that. But for now, this is what I get. So, Alright, we are going to just gently, I'm not really going to do a lot of big tilting. I just kind of want to maybe spread these out a little bit more. Just to see what's, what kind of visuals we can get. Oh, I knew that white paint would be trouble. It's really thick. All right, we're gonna go with plan B. Plan B is the swipe technique. So maybe I can kinda, oh, you know what? X that. We are going to go with the plastic bag technique. So, again, I hope I don't ruin this, but whatever, it's mine. <laughs> I'm going. I saw I saw this technique on uh, on one of the channels where they were making uh, the aurora borealis effect in the in the night sky. And obviously, I'm not gonna be anywhere near creating anything like that quite yet. But I did like how it looked afterwards. So I'm gonna cross my fingers and hopefully I can recreate at least a little bit of it so here we go and I need a rotor I guess I can use this for now just gonna apply a little bit of pressure to kind of press down on the on the paints whoa I have a balance on a so look up, so yeah. Maybe yeah. I'm gonna use my my hand to kinda coax some of this paint down or up, depending on where the edges are. Alright ladies and gentlemen. Time for the review. Oh, yeah, sorry. I'm just gonna. Whatever, I bought all this stuff at Michael's. Yeah, I bet you guys. Well, you buy whatever, you buy wherever you buy it. But I'm new at this, so again, I don't know where to shop. And if you say Amazon, grrr. But here we go. I'm just gonna pull it back real quick. I 
I like it. I don't want to touch it. I want to touch it. But I don't want to touch it. I'm just going to tilt it towards you guys. See if I can pull some of this thicker paint down some. Just because I went a little crazy. Might as well hit that corner first. Get that marble effect going. Expose some of them reds, some of them blues. Some of this paint is runnier than others. I obviously overmixed some of these paints. But again, it's all good. It's it's art. It is to me, so. I'm gonna let some of this run off run off. <laughs> and see what we got afterwards. I guess I should be paying attention to see if you guys are still in frame. <laughs> Come on, just a little bit more. There you have it. Not sure what it's gonna look like once it dries, but it definitely looks like it was not made by me. Because if you look at it really, really closely, you see some really intricate designs, little small patterns in some of these little crevices. So yeah. If you like the video, or if you like the art, please give the video a like and if you wouldn't mind hitting that subscribe button, it would help me out a lot. Thank you guys for joining me. Have a good night.